You just say when it started and uh, Forget we're live. no profanity. You're joining uh, the USU Addicted to Death match, or what should be, and hopefully will be. Right now we're in de death match mode here in rank, and we're going to switch that over to 4v4 TAM. Right now, uh, Addicted to Death is having a little problem trying to field their roster right now. They have at least three people, so at the very least we'll get to see a 3v4 handicap match and a brutal beating for Addicted to Death. Uh, worst, we'll see a 4v4 in a pretty even game. So uh, I'm looking forward to having a match here. And uh, with me tonight, i got uh, Captain Howdy doing the video, Chachi doing the shoutouts, and Captain Crunch like the cereal, yes, that's right, Captain Crunch. We're four captains tonight, and uh, Captain, you're going to be uh, co-hosting this here with me tonight. Uh, what do you expect out of this match, uh, other than uh, hopefully uh, a full four v four? Well, Chachi, it looks actually like uh, we just had another member from ATD enter, uh, so we may actually see that four vs four tonight. Uh, but regardless, it's going to be a good fight from both sides here. We have the number 9 spot, I believe, open for grabs uh, on TWL ladders. So both teams kind of want to hold uh, a pretty strong position with Teal uh, fielding the, the teamwork there because USU uh, have pulled it together a lot of times against pure EIF and put down a pretty strong fight using teamwork. So hopefully we see a lot of that tonight. Yeah, I think what we're going to end up seeing is uh, EI, if you saw the last, I believe it was actually the last TAM match that we, we broadcast on EGLN, it, the last one that I did was EIF versus USU. USU was in that match right up to the very end, and they lost somebody that had connection problems, and they were down four players to th three, and they ended up losing that match in Pipeworks, losing, it was seven to seven when they lost a player for good that didn't come, end up being able to come back. So they could be looking for a little bit of revenge, maybe uh, spanking addicted to death in kind of a, a retaliatory 4v3. Actually though, I believe, uh, like you said, I'm not currently on the server because we need another spec slot, but uh, you said a fourth person from addicted to death is in there, so uh, I'll be joining you in just a second, hopefully. What's it looking like in there? Are we getting ready to start, Captain? Uh, it looks like I'm the only one in here right now, but I just told him to open up some spec slots on this server, so hopefully we can get a restart here, and then we'll be up and running. And we I have think a 4v4? As of right now, uh, the server may be full because I'm in here, but we have four USU members. We have Fluorescence, Cookies, Hild, and Rusty Gun, for, all for USU. For ADT, ADT, at the moment, we have Cam, uh, Spastality, and Beep. Uh, I'm looking for system overload maybe to join for ATD, but we're trying to get some specs open right now. So the ATD uh, or ADT, is it ADT or ATD? That's the it's ATD. Alarm I think company. it's an alarm company. Addicted to no, death. one's one's an alarm company, and I don't think the alarm company stands for ADT. addicted to death. It, it is ADT. Oh, okay. I, I thought we might have a potential lawsuit in there. I was totally going to wrap them <laughs> out unless they paid me some sort of a, a fee to keep my silence. Okay, I'm going to be trying to join this uh, bad daddy shortly. Otherwise, I'm going to be guessing what's going on and then relaying that to you on the showcast. <laughs> Yeah, let's hopefully uh, hopefully they can uh, pull things together and get this going here. Uh, I think this was scheduled for 8.30 and we finally got everyone rounded up and now we're missing another player again. So 
either these teams are going to agree uh, to go three versus three, or one's going to have to take that uh, brutal beating four versus three here. Well, four versus threes are always fun to watch. You know, it's always it's always fun to watch somebody beat the crap out of somebody else when they have one arm tied behind their back. <laughs> That's a basic premise you see on the WWF or well, WWE wrestling. Excuse me. Speaking of lawsuits. Can't call it the WWF anymore. Anybody who follows that, the World Wildlife Foundation had a hissy fit over it, so it's the WWE now. So we got uh, we got shout outs going tonight. Chachi is going to be covering those back from our Washington studios, where he's going to be uh, taking shout outs on GameSurge.net pound E G L N. So you want to go in there? Like I've said before, uh, IRC during a, a, an EGLN broadcast, it's like Mardi Gras. It's absolute insanity. There's hundreds of people in there. There's all kinds of things going on, links to video. It's it's absolutely in, insane. It's it's one of the craziest things I've ever ever done. It's huge now, especially around spring break time. It's, uh, it's totally a sellout crowd. Hey, Dead Slash, uh, are you able to get in the server there? Uh, I'm still not having any luck. Yeah. You know, not not just yet. Yeah, they're not seeming to open this up here. So ah, I yes. Really know what's ah, yes. Wait a going second on. now. A second now. I okay, I'm I am looking live at the at the the field of play right now. I'm excited. So we got now we have Captain. So we have Captain Howdy doing the video. So awesome. We have people doing video now. We have somebody from Male Models just jumped in. Great. You know, just a word to people at home here. Can I, seriously, unless he is a ringer, but I don't think that he is. We're going to figure that out in a second. When, when you're surfing for a server to play on, okay, and you see that there's four of one tag and four or three of another, and you see three EGL and staff and spectate, the odds are pretty good it's not a pub match, and you probably shouldn't jump in there if you just want to get your frag on because they're probably in the middle of something but but yeah, wait he yeah. changes he's, his name models a model what nonsense is this requiem we have nice DYDs on this we have some no, i know i'm going to start doing this i have uh you know that's when to do just to get into people's heads you can have people come in with your tag on and then just you like they come in with somebody else's tag you know the your players and then all change right beforehand just to get under their skin a little bit i like that a little uh, mental freak out on ATD's uh, side there. Yeah, M male models clan representing. <laughs> Let's see if they can hold it down here against USU. Yeah, they're starting. To, everybody's starting to ready up. Starting to ready up. It looks like we're going. And uh, now we lost beep. So great. And fluorescence at the same time. Looks like we got some more joining right back in here. Maybe actually having some server problems. Uh, I'm not even sure if this server is passworded at the moment here. I don't know how wise that was to say, but uh, these guys definitely need to get uh, things ready to go. Yeah, they, clearly, clearly we're not working with professionals here. Uh, you know, normally we're you're used to things just going off bam, bam, smooth, uh, and uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here, but. The good news is, is we should start sometime tonight. So, you know, it is only, what's today, Wednesday, Tuesday? What is today? I have no idea. But whatever day it is, it's not Friday, so we have a couple of days before the weekend to get this sorted out. That's good. So just stay here and watch this all day. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, that's the, the choice that we're left with here. Uh, so, actually, no, we're back up and going here. So we got both teams ready to go here, it looks like, hopefully. Uh, we just need a couple more players to ready up, and we should uh, be underway. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. It's kind of like that UT3 <laughs> demo. When it when it yeah, happens, then I'll, I'll finally believe that it did. And we do, yeah, like you said, people are starting to ready up. All of ATD is ready, so provided they don't jump out of the server again real quick, uh, or sneak in some more male model members and or other clans, then we should be ready to go as soon as the USU 
And we got the Good Luck Have Fun at an ATD. And now, again, uh, now that we have even teams, we can discuss what we're probably expecting. You look at the records on these two teams. The ATD record is not very impressive. USU has two losses. One was to a global team that was absolutely on fire at the time. And then their other loss came in a dead-even match where they could, they could really complain, uh, legitimately complain, that they were they were robbed because they lost a player. I mean, they weren't they weren't robbed. Nobody cheated them, but it's just a, you know, they weren't really they they didn't really lose that match flat out. So you can't really hold that against them that much. So you you got a USU team that prior to that went their last run on there. They got spanked by Pure, but it's a very very good team. On the other hand, you have Addicted to Death. Their record is somewhere around 500. They're an experienced team. They have some pretty good players. I play with them on pubs. Most of the players I'm familiar with that are very good are not on here right now, so it's going to be interesting to see how they play. Yeah, although ATD's record isn't the prettiest, let's not count them out of this game here. Uh, we got a lot of solid players, and these guys, you got to remember, with those uh, losses and those wins, it's all experience, no matter how you put it. Uh, so it's an experienced team. They've been together for a while now. So they're used to working with each other, which I think is really going to help them in the long run. Uh, against this not so newer, but I really haven't seen this matchup of uh, USU. I've seen Cookies and Fluorescence and uh, Rusty, but this Hild seems to be a new player. Maybe he's aliasing, but I uh, haven't seen too much of him. So we're going to see how they work together as a team as well. Uh, but both sides, let's look for teamwork all together. And we got some more people uh, clicking up, so we may be ready to go here in just a few moments. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we're we're down to we're waiting on fifty percent of the USU players here. It's fluorescence and cookies, and yeah, as you had said before, I think we had seen cookies and fluorescence in action. Rusty Gun, we'd seen in action. Hill is not a name that I know. Who knows? He's probably from male models too. <laughs> so I think. Well, I you know I I would love to say that we're ready to go here, but yeah, um, clearly we're not. So. We should be ready to go at any moment. And once again, uh, you want to uh, jump over in IRC. It's GameSurge.net pound E G L N. I know there might be a waiting list to get in. It's that crazy there right now, but just keep trying. Uh, if if you get a busy signal, just just redial, and eventually you will get through. We have hundreds of IRC operators standing by waiting, and it it really is just a blast to hang out in there. I I do it all the time. I don't know about you, Captain, but I can't get enough of IRC. Yeah, I definitely love the IRC. And also the forums are a great place, egln.net forums, uh, to get your matches played, guys. Uh, we want to bring a lot of quality casting to you, and the only way we can find that out is by working with you. So let us get some info, tell us who you're playing, when it's going to be, and we'll do our best to get it out there to you. we got a lot of good video people. Uh, we got uh, connected. We've got Captain Howdy, uh, Chachi, myself, and Dead Slash, all, uh, and Chloe, too, all working together to get this UT division underway. Uh, so definitely tell your friends, get people you know that are interested watching tonight because we're going to have a barn burner uh, once these guys get going, if they ever do. Uh, we, have one, we have one more player actually to click and that's Cookies. So hopefully we're starting here soon. Uh, but as, as uh, Dead Slash said, we've been saying that uh, for about 20 minutes now. <laughs> yeah, it, it's... Uh the feeling of excitement, it feels like New Year's Eve 1999 about to turn to 2000, what's going to happen? Uh, you know, it, we've been waiting on it so long it seems, uh, I'm waiting, when Cookies Ready's up it could be the end of the world, I'm going to be quite honest with you, because uh, it's just not something anybody expected to happen. I, I don't know what the holdup is, I don't, I don't know if it's uh, something going on behind the scenes, maybe they are checking the GUIDs, they're wondering why uh, somebody came in with a uh, models tag and and okay, so Cookies uh, logged in as admin very quickly, then logged out, and hopefully uh, it's going to be followed up by a, a, a ready signal. And then once they ready up, I expect to see lots of lightning. And it's going to be flying hither and yon, hitting people in the face, the chest, the legs, and possibly the arms. Uh, beside lightning, we may see some shock. I anticipate seeing rockets, flak, possibly even mini, but I expect mini to be toward the end of the round. We'll see if I'm I'm right on with those predictions now. Who's gonna kill who? 
<laughs> I'm not Nostradamus, but... Alright, here we go! USU Cookies has readied up! And we are underway! So right now I am following... USU Cookies, the uh, procrastinator, as he comes up the lift by the rockets right there. He's underneath the rockets now, shooting a rocket up toward the lift area. Appears to think that he's going to have some ATD company coming through there. He brings himself up into the rocket area again. Now you see the ATD has moved in below them in the rocket area. ATD cam gets killed with the shot beam and then quickly Cookies is taken down. Moving over to USU Fluorescence. He's dancing around in the rocket area. He's got some help over there. USU Hild with him. He takes uh, Pas Pasmodic is hurt a little bit. He gets knocked down. And let's see. We've got Fluorescence. Is still hanging out in that in that rocket area, and Hild hanging out in that same area with him. We're looking for them to finally clear something out. Yeah, now they're moving forward, looking for the two ATD. We have two on two right now. Twenty eight for Hild, fifteen for Fluorescence. Over on ATD, we have uh, Spasm with twelve, Requiem with one o two. So a little bit better on the health front there for ATD, but. One lightning gun is going to even that up very quickly. Still, no one has died yet. We're down to 40 seconds here left in the round. And there goes Fluorescence taken out with Flak off the wall. A little fanciness and the Flak bouncing here, here and there. Now we have Requiem going head-to-head -head with Hild. And Hild, the only remaining member. And yes, Flying Flak takes him out. He saw the smiley on that one. Yeah, so that was a good round for ATD, bringing him in the lead, 1-0. to zero. Uh, Let's take a look at Hild as he starts in the lightning area. He's going to look down that hallway, now come back in the main room. He's looking for some hit scan, and he comes up on beep, doesn't, doesn't pursue, drops back, takes the lightning. He's in a duel now, throwing some hit scan. We've got shot cores all over the place. He's playing real cautious, staying up top. Let's look at Cam, who's down low, looking to throw some rockets. Oh, but Spastic's taken out with some rockets by Rusty. We have four ATD and three USU. Uh, as a couple more people going down, leaving three ATD, now two USU. Cam up top, looking down on flag, and a duel taken out by a big flag ball to the face. We have uh, another uh, member drops as uh, Requiem not looking in the best of shape with 16 health. Oh, and he's taken down with a lightning. Uh, we have a uh, tied match here as we're going into the third round. Yeah, USU even it up right there. Right now following ATD Cam. And ATD spawned over by the lightning. And then over on the other side, appearing to be at the rock rockets. Yeah, we have USU spawning in the rocket area. So we have USU sort of hanging out, content to hang out in that rocket area, at least for the for the first round and for this for this third round. Kind of letting ATD move in on them and then trying to take them out from there. ATD below the rocket area, USU with some presence up top. Now, they trade places as ATD tries to push their way up and ends up not happening. So we, we've got one ATD member is down, USU trying to push its way out. Rusty Gun is eliminated from this round from Re by Requiem, the uh, male model. ATD Cam is out, Spasmodic is out, Cookies Lightning free ride there, Cookies taken down with the flak. Some fast action right here. We're down to Requiem, Fluorescence, and Hild. USU with Fluorescence and Hild, and it is a lightning gun that ends around Hild with a beautiful lightning shot right there. Yeah, we, we got a close game here. Uh, two for USU, one for ATD. Uh, Fluorescence spawning, kind of holding back. He's in the lightning area, looking to throw some lightning himself. Doesn't connect, but he drops back, hits one on one of the USU members. Gets another another shot. He's looking to pick him off uh, with his with his shot cord. We have a lot of uh, hit scam flying down that main hallway there. Requiem drops back and he's taken out by fluorescence lightning. Beep up top in the rockets, looking to hit some lightning himself. We've got lightning all over the place, but Beep's taken down uh, by Cookie Shock Beam. We have hit scan as Rusty kills uh, ATD, and now he's looking cams. Throwing some link, but couldn't take it. Uh, now we have Spasm all by himself, nine health against you three USU members. Not much he can do here uh, as he gets taken out with lightning. Lightning, lightning, lightning was the theme for that round. Yeah, definitely it's an electrical storm right here. USU using their hit scan advantage, taking ATD out at every turn with with lightning in the face, lightning in the foot, lightning in the forehead. 
Right now, USU again spawning in that rocket area, and they are completely content to just hang out there. ATD spawns at the lightning. They move forward slowly and end up getting eviscerated as they move in closer. ATD cam is eliminated with a lightning gun and then a quick shock beam afterward from Rusty Gun. Right now, ATD, USU could be distancing themselves the skill, uh, in the skill gap that, that we were predicting possibly there could be with them being a 500 record, USU being so dominant. Well, just as I say that, ATD takes it down to a two-on-one right now. Fluorescence. He'll take it down, so it's just Fluorescence and Requiem for ATD. Requiem with 124 health, Fluorescence with 64 now after he eats a flax sandwich. Requiem has boosted. He's fleeing now with his shield up. He wants to get up some, some of his energy. Fluorescence chasing after him. Take a look at the scores. Fluorescence, well, Fluorescence, it appears, ha should have adrenaline, unless I missed him using it prior. And from across the round, oh, that's very beautiful. Fluorescence hits a lightning gun, hurting Requiem, negating most of his boost. Requiem now at right about 100 at 95 right now. Fluorescence, maybe not sure how low he is, spamming some, some minigun at him, maybe thinking he's lower than he possibly is, or maybe Fluorescence is just planning on boosting and he wants to get him as low as possible for that overtime hit. But, it's working off uh, or lower and lower, and Fluorescence at 5, Requiem at 1, 6 seconds left, this is, well this is very interesting, see how this one turns out. <laughs> Blue team gets it on that one, so even though they had a little bit more, I think that the red team takes it first, so 3-2, to two, ATD, getting back in this. Yeah, ATD uh, definitely lucked out that last round, but it brought them a little bit closer uh, to their goal of uh, at least staying on top with uh, USD here. Directly, I'm looking down uh, that hallway, but once again, everyone's looking to throw some lightning. He catches some himself. Looking to avoid some more. Falling back in that rocket area. We have a lot of action down below as Rusty's down to 20 health, throwing some flak, trying to cover his tracks. Doesn't hit a thing as he's taken out with the lightning gun right in the eyeball. I, I believe I saw uh, fluorescence, some more lightning all over the place. I think that's all we're going to see the rest of the game is just lightning all over. Because uh, that's all I've been seeing so far as uh, Fluorescence gets uh, a shot in the skull from the lightning. All these guys just lightning on hand, looking to tear each other apart. Uh, some rockets in the mix. We have ATD with the win. F or, I'm sorry, USU, 42. Taking another notch in that ladder. Taking a, take a look at the scores real quick. Cookies with 22. Fluorescence with 21, Hild 16, Rusty Gun with 13, that's for USU, over on the ATD side, Spasmodic 16, Requiem 16, Cam 12, Beat with 6, and there's a good reason you're seeing so much lightning, and that's because USU is, is on fire with it right now, USU you got Rusty Gun with 33%, Hild, Hild now just uh, Eliminates a member with a shock beam, as you can see this this hit scan right here. Uh, Rusty Gun, I said 32%. And we have, well, I'm trying to get everybody else's. Cookies at 32%, Fluorescence at 33%. So 28% healed is the lowest hit scan on their team, and that's pretty good. Yeah, we got strong hit scan all over the place here. Uh, fluorescence, let's take a look at him. Oh, as the member goes berserk on uh, USU side, Rusty Gun actually looking to Rambo style these guys. That's a headshot taken out by Lightning. Uh, looking to come in the flag room, coming up, throwing so much shock I can't see in front of this guy. Another combo, doesn't hit a thing though. He's going to back, he's, he's 2 versus 1 taken out. Uh, 2 versus 1 didn't work too well for him in that situation. Let's look at Cookies who has 20 but takes out ATD with that damn dang lightning. Fluorescence up top throwing flak spam all over the place as we have one of the members boosting. We got a lot of low health. ATD uh, takes out another member. Spastic looking to hold it down against 2 USU. Throwing flak, covering his tracks, dropping into the flag room. Doesn't see much of anything. Runs in the hill. Lightning. They're doing.
Pulling it out, combos all over the place from Spastic, doesn't hit it, and he's taken out with a shock beam. Uh, bringing it 6-2, to two, USU dominating this map so far. Yeah, USU starting to pull away with that. You saw last round, Cookies gave somebody an electric haircut. So somebody run around with their hair on fire, and that was uh, because the top of their scalp was missing. USU again, spawning at the Rockets, and staying at the Rockets. Oh, yeah, all right. It's not a bad plan for them. It's it's definitely working. I can't see why they want to leave. And Rusty Gun serving up some combo platters. He's looking really good. Well, at least he's he's trying to look good with those combos. He's throwing them all over the place. I guess eventually you're going to kill somebody, right? And now we have, let's see, taking a look at ATD Spasmodic. He's up top at the Rockets. You can see Cam there below him. Run around. They join up with each other. Spasmodic now moving forward into the middle. He's moving into the flak area. Saw some USU up near the mini. He's trying to sneak up on him. And you got one USU there on the stairwell. They both know that he's here. Cookies is gone. Cam is gone. So f a f Fluorescence eliminates Cam with some lightning. Well placed lightning. Now it's just Fluorescence versus Requiem and Cam. And Fluorescence is gone. So it's 6-3. to three. They've cut the margin to 50%. ATD coming back. I guess half ain't bad uh, when you're looking down the barrel of uh, USU's lightning because their accuracy is off the charts uh, against this ATD team. Requiem can't help but come in the rocket area and hide because he's getting his scanned from all over the place. He's running back in the main room, uh, looking to his scan him himself, catches some, uh, some health damage, drops back down into that little flag area uh, that seems to be the home of uh, USU been working for him like you said dead uh, but they're kind of out of their space right now panning out ATD we got spastics down to five Uh, just a little okay, bit, well, a bit of splash was go. all that would take him out, but hey, rockets down a hallway uh, can be a deadly thing as proven uh, by USU now we have Link <laughs> carved to the face. USU Rusty Gun looking versus uh, three ATDs. A three on one. He's trying to hold it down. Running back. Coming right. He misses some rockets, but he eventually eats one. Uh, taking USU, or I'm sorry, ATD up four to six. Still right back in this game, dead. Yeah, and amazingly. USU again spawns at the Rockets. It, it's as though they've they've made some sort of a sacrifice to the spawn gods to continually spawn in this rocket area, and then they're determined to camp it. Uh, and it's I mean it's working for them, but the thing is is you know you're looking at them and, and going head to head with a ATD as Requiem is lost uh, after launching on a rocket. Uh, the, the thing is, is it, if they push out of the rock, the rocket area, I think that they could take ATD down. I think that they're skilled enough that, you know, it's it's not like they have to do that as a tactic. So, and and they are sort of working their way out of it, but they are hanging around there. Wow, cookies with a, a dead on shot right there. That was that was an impressive lightning shot from across the level, and then a killing spree. Uh, excuse me, ending a killing spree for ATD and. Yeah, Cookies, Fluorescence leading with uh, the damage, Requiem with the most headshots, and Hild with the highest percent, 30 percent. We got Cam going invisible here, up on walk, looking to catch somebody off surprise being the sneaky man he is. Doesn't really connect with anything here. Let's take a look at uh, Hild down to 30 now, uh, looking to hit some, some hit scan, throwing anything he can while he's invisible still. But he's taken back, so actually, in the face, catches uh, a spastic with some lightning. Now throwing a flat ball up there, trying to hit anything he can. Uh, down to 68 health as he hits USU with some lightning. Taking out spastic with a combo, and immediately goes down right after that. We have uh, 2 versus 1, spastic versus fluorescence and hill. So let's see what spastic does. He's kind of walking around, looking if he can hear anything, see anything. Looking for anything, falling back, being real cautious as he runs into Hill. 
did he hit him? I don't know, but he took some himself all the way down to 40, that is. So now that's an even tougher situation. As he's falling back with some shield, lightning after it, doesn't hit anything. Looking to catch someone off guard with more lightning. In the flak room, hits Hill with flak cannon. Now it's uh, a one versus one fluorescence versus spastic. Fluorescence is even lower, so spastic's actually an advantage for this situation. Let's see what he does as he creeps even more. Oh, and pulls out the boost. This may be the end for fluorescence, but let's see what fluorescence has up his sleeve as he throws some rockets catching, uh, catching spastic off guard. Bo both of them exchanging some combos. Neither one of them hit. Uh, I really don't think Fluorescence has anything as far as adrenaline right now because he definitely would have pulled it out. This is a, a time that if you have anything, you're going to lay it on the line right now. Looking at uh, Spastic upstairs, not really coming into too much, gets hits himself, but still has the health advantage. So he could actually, if he wanted to be uh, gay about it, if you will, wait this guy out and as time went exploring, uh, ATD picks up that round. And yeah, a ATD takes that round, so it's 7-5, ATD is trailing on this, and of course, what you always have to keep in mind is your eventual end game, if you're anybody on this ladder, is the number one spot, and that's controlled by Pure right now, is what a surprise, by the way, USU spawns up at the Rockets. And one thing you got to keep in mind here is while USU looks pretty impressive with their lightning gun, as the fluorescence who does have the best shock beam, which is what I was about to talk to or talk about, uh, t he, he he removes an ATD player from the matchup that was uh, Cam removed with his shock. When it, and Requiem now out with Cookie Shock. So just as I was about to say, as somebody got a haircut. Oh, hold on, somebody got an electric haircut. I didn't say who did that, but that was Beep who got the haircut. And now, do we have back-to-back -back haircuts? Spasmodic, I believe, took one in the face as well. I, wow. Oh, excellent. I was just about to bad about their shotgun, and then they just started shooting everybody in the face. So I'll do that next round. <laughs> I mentioned the electric haircuts. These guys are taking them all over the place as more lightning gets whipped out at the final end of that round. Uh, we have an 8 versus 5. USU still dominant in this map, but we'll see if AT can hold it down. Uh, Rusty gets taken out. Oh, now we have Cookies. Uh, takes out Spaz with the flak. Rusty in the flak. Throwing a combo. Doesn't hit anything. Oh, and he gets uh, some shock beams in. Taking out Cam. Looking up at B, but take down the four. He's in a bad situation as he about eats some rockets and avoids uh, a, a near miss. Oh, it takes down Beep with the lightning. Uh, just as I start putting Rusty Gun down, he jumps right back up in here and says, I'm going to kill every single last member here. Uh, USU chasing down the last guy. Doesn't look good. And Rusty lives that round out, bringing it 9 to 5 USU. Yeah, this could be the last round right here. USU spawning uh, in, in the rocket area. Last, uh, it's worth noting, ATD spawned in the rocket area last time. It was an absolute nightmare for them. Didn't work out. Oh, now, right off the bat with some lightning shots from Beep, we're down to two USU members. Now just one USU member as ATD retaliating with their lightning attacks. The USU member is scram it's, uh, Rusty scrambling about in the upper rocket area takes out Requiem and then he is promptly served with a heaping help of lightning from Spasmodic shoots him from below, death from below yeah ATD uh, still putting up a fight here I don't know how uh, how well they're gonna hold this out but we'll see as they're falling back in the flag area throwing rockets I've seen ATD throw so many rockets uh, within the past round here uh, trying to hit anything they can Beep going up top looking in the main room uh, maybe for some rockets? No, it was lightning followed by the rockets. He doesn't hit anything, avoiding nearly some flak as he avoids some combos as well. Man, he, he really got himself out of the situation there. And right back into another one, but those rockets brought him right out of trouble and right back in. Uh, and it's just as I say that, my game crashes from uh, the notorious uh, general protection error. But go ahead and take it away and see if I can't get back in here, Dad.
Oh no, see that's what you get for being a hacksaw. As uh, Fluorescence pops a, a, a combo, or gets a combo popped in his face. He spattered about the map in the lightning gun area. So they're going to clean him up and we're going to start the, re the, the next round here. It's 9-7 USU with the lead right here. ATD advancing. I'm following Spasmodic right now who is on combo fire as he just popped the combo on somebody from, from USU who promptly ran and hid back where the rockets are or the flag area as you've been referring to it. And we still have it's a 4 on 4. Cam though is down to only 4 health. Fluorescence of USU has been dropped out of this round. And we have Cookies who is boosting very, very low right now. Co Cookies down to 34 points. Cookies at 50, 60, and Cookies weathered the storm, and people right on top of them, and Hild evens up the odds. It's a 2v2 now, thanks to Hild's accurate lightning. Cookie, who appeared to be about to be just dead, deadified with his boost. He was down to, I believe, 7. However, he uh, makes his way up to... USC, uh, excuse me, makes his way up to 79 as there were ATD members all about him, hither and yon, but none could seem to find him with anything. Flak seemed to be everywhere. Rusty Gun eliminated with a well-placed Flak Ball. Now we have Requiem who gets the Shock Beam Facial from Cookies. Looking good with the Shock Beam now. And it's Cam versus Cookies. Cam with only 4 health. Cookies with 79. Cookies I obviously does not know he has a health advantage or he'd be running around shooting some mini spam around every corner trying to take him out. And oh wow! An amazing shot from ATD Cam catches Cookies with the lightning, has Cookies down to nine. It's the battle of the invalids here. And yes, nine versus four and and Cookies pulls it off with a lightning gun. What a surprise. That was the story of the round. So the score is USU Fluorescence 51, Cookies 49, Rusty Gun 46, 33 for their player who just left. Spasmodic with 43, ATD Cam with 36, Requiem with 35, and Beep with 21. So, uh, you know, Beep, uh, we had some troubles there, but I'm sure, you know, we'll uh, do better in uh, the next round, I'm sure. Uh, have you uh, Have you been able to get back in here? Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm sorry, Captain. Uh, I, I'm getting word from our Chicago studios that uh, over at uh, Party Central IRC, uh, we got some shout-outs from Chauncey. Chauncey, uh, talk to me here. Hey, what's up? Good uh, good match so far. You know, uh, good job, both teams. Shout-outs we got. We got uh, from Habibi. Shout-out to him, Forrick. Uh, he says, watch him, Forrick. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? We've also got... Uh, Shouts from Bootsy. Go ATD. Good luck. Have fun. And that she loves peanut butter. <laughs> and uh, that's about it for right now. So if you got any more shout outs, come on out here. Come to Pound EGLN on the GameSearch.net IRC network. We're sitting here talking about the matches. And uh, shout out from uh, UT or EGLN UT Connected. Shout out from himself. Says that he wants to hear. That's it. Shizzle Combizzle. So that's what I got. All right. <laughs> Thank you. He just wanted to hear his name on the radio. Well, now he has. Let's, let's say it again. We are EGLN Connected. He's tuning it in from his computer over in the Bronx, New York. Which I completely made up his location. So if you're in the Bronx, New York, and you're looking for him because you think he's there, I, I just kind of made that up. So we're getting ready for the next round here. It appears to be... Uh, Oh, and now... Uh, what if we... So this is the second time that this, this server just automatically goes into deathmatch mode and then put him over in the rank and now we're we're about to update our maps here in Angeles and well that's going to be a wide open map so captain uh, disagree with me here if you wish but I, I think that uh, as far as this server goes uh, you know going into to this map with it being as wide open as this uh, the hit scan advantage that USU has so far is just going to get wider uh, in, in, in this big wide open map yeah, definitely. We're going to see him dominate with his scan. I mean, we saw it last round. We're going to see it this round, which is compared to Grindle, which is uh, his scanner's dream map, basically. Uh, uh, this next map we're going into, Analyst, is a lot more wide open. We're going to see headshots galore on both sides, probably. ATD, don't count them out. They have their own little uh, hit scanner, too, there. Uh, so we're really going to see hit scan all over the place. Up close, uh, we're going to see rockets.
Uh, we're going to see FLAC, uh, basically story of Unreal Tournament. So it's basically teamwork and hit scan that we're going to look for. And if I can ever get back in this server, uh, we'll be getting yeah, underway. Yes, actually, here. <laughs> I was I was just about to see if uh, if you were in there because I'm not. Now I, I believe we have some more uh, some more shout outs. Like I said, it's like New Year's Eve, so we didn't we didn't get them all in the last time. So we're gonna go back to the NASA Studios and we're gonna talk to Chachi, who's got some more shout outs. Yeah, I got a shout out from uh, Smiley Jewel. Just shout out to Amp Habs and the EGLN crew. Also got a shout out from uh, Amp back to Habibi. Uh, Habibi, I love you, or I love him. So it uh, looks like we got a little uh, relationship thing going on. We'll call it the EGLN love line. And also, uh, just to let you guys know, I am hearing that y'all should have your spec slots. Yes, the feed is back up. Hopefully, you see a good match between these guys. Yes, yes, I'm back in right now, and yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, a very good matchup. It looks like uh, you're here too, Captain. So, um, how many shout-outs do you have for what a great job I'm doing, Chachi? I think that you probably have a couple, but you didn't you didn't fit those in. Go ahead and do that now. Uh, no, I got nothing. I'm sorry, man. But uh, Captain Crunch, you're saying you're doing great, oh, dude. Keep up the good work. Oh yeah, thanks, thanks. I think that they just they might have just misspelled my name as Captain Crunch, probably. I know that happens a lot because they're real similar. So we're looking forward to a very good round right here with uh, USU and ATD. Uh, yeah, you were talking about rockets flying all over the place. If ATD tries to to, to get a leg up with rockets in this one, it's uh, it's going to be uh, a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. They're going to get demolished. Uh, so we'll we'll have to see. Oh, and I've got one more shout-out real quick from Remix. Uh, player, he started watching EJ Lynn a whole lot, and he's gotten a UT, dead slash Euro Pro. Thank you. And that See, team loves laser you. tag. Thank you. It's about time somebody recognized the, the mad skills. That, so that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Remix. And he's, he's a good player. He's a good, he's a good player. He's a great yeah, player. He's a great person. I love talking to him in IRC. Uh, Bootsy's also saying great job to both of you guys. And uh, shout out to Cams because he is the elite sauce coming from Slippa. And also Cookies is a demo scrub. And Khan also saying we're doing a good job. We're getting all sorts of shout outs. We'll get you next time around here. Let's get this uh, match started. Yeah, seriously. We, we should have had all these shout outs in that dead time in the beginning while we were waiting for ATD to field the team. Now we we just can't stop getting shout outs. We're, we're going to have to, that's going to be our next credit. You know, like, please don't join us in IRC because there's just too many shout outs. All right, maybe that won't happen, but it would be kind of cool, I guess, if it did. I don't know. And so we're waiting for everybody to ready up. We're down to one person. Oh, what a surprise. It's Cookies who is, is getting ready. Once he readies this up, we're ready to go. So, I don't know, Captain. Any last words, or uh, you want to change your predictions here on what's going to happen in this one? Oh, oh, what's what's that? Dad? I'm sorry, I was taking a nap there as I was waiting for these guys to get ready. <laughs> and as I say, ATD drops another player. Amazing as we go, I guess, into a four versus three here. Let's see what happens. Uh, both players kind of question it. Are they going to decide to go ahead? I, I don't know. Looking around, up oh, we got some hit scan. Here we go. We got rusty guns throwing some lightning down. Hits one of the ATD members as he drops back. Hit scan, hit scan, hit scan on both sides. Nothing really hits. Rusty getting some in on Cam. Cam throwing a shock combo but gets taken out with the shock beam. Uh, now we have a two versus four as ATD doesn't look too well going into this uh, versus USU. Requiem looking for anybody. Can't find even find his partner as he's looking around. Seems to be lost in the map. Spastic himself has his hands full as he's down to Rusty Gun. Takes Rusty Gun with a shock to the face. Uh, another player goes down as we have the advantage now for ATD as they hold it down. Now Fluorescence is the odd man out in this two verse one. Fluorescence up top looking at lightning. Throws a shock combo. Doesn't hit anything. Drops back. Misses some rockets. Uh, we have many going towards him. Not doing Doing too much damage as he still has around 80 health power. Uh, dropping back, playing real cautious, not running into the much as he drops, throws a flat, hits by the rocket, taken out by the mini of Spastic, uh, given uh, the advantage to ATD, who amazingly brings that out with only three players.
Yeah, it's right. ATD doing their Rocky Balboa impression against all odds, winning that round. Totally shutting us up with all our bad mouth and how bad they're gonna do shooting rockets in this big lightning gun fight. So shows how much we know about the game we're casting. Now, we're right now on the second round, and and right now we're seeing there's a lot of close action. Uh, right now I'm following Hild, but basically whoever you're following, everybody's right in that same area. They're all right on top of each other, and it's it's a close quarters ground fight. So. As far as this big advantage, it, for the hit scan, it's not happening. We got people getting shafted. Now, uh, for essence, take somebody out with a shock beam. So we have it's a two on two right now. By the way, ATV still has not gotten that fourth player. And Rusty Gun eats some flack. I saw the smiley on that one. I'm not sure if you caught that at home, but that's always a treat. Makes me giggle. We have two U uh, excuse me, two ATD versus one USU, and now it's been for essence just to even it up with. Uh, some flack in the face, and then he says, I got your hit scan right here. But wow! And he took out, uh, so now it is one to one. <laughs> and we have ATD uh, now at a, uh, it looks like a 3 versus uh, 5 as Beep seems that he likes USU better now and wants to start playing for them. <laughs> So, uh, let's see how this pans out. Spastic up top, looking down, uh, hit some lightning on one of the USU members. Uh, getting in the duel himself with a shock duel. Smacked in the face, taking down to 70 health. Uh, pulling back with some rockets, taking down cookies with Trirox. Blowing him to bits and pieces. Uh, and eventually himself taken out with the lightning. We have ATD versus uh, 4. <laughs> Now, now uh, make that three as uh, Beep finally realizes he, he, he's on the other team. Cam, uh, following with a shot combo, doesn't hit it, drops down, another shot combo. Uh, and really not much he can do here but run. Taking, uh, taking a hit of lightning. Oh, gets a good combo in, uh, but it's not enough as he's down to 34 and taken uh, to the morgue by Hild's lightning. We have two versus one in favor of USU going into the fourth round here. Yeah, the good news is for ATD that they, they finally evened it up. When when Beep first came back, I thought that that was going to be like one of those dramatic wrestling turns where, Oh my god! Oh my god! Beep! Beep is on the SU! I can't believe it! Beep, this is a massacre! And they, they were just going to gang up on him. It was going to be a total surprise. And like Mr. Fuji would walk out and hit someone with a chair. But, unfortunately, it was nothing so interesting. And his rusty gun tastes some lightning. Oh, his head was made extra crispy, so he got the uh, haircut on that one. Hild takes a, a ride on the rockets. The rockets! Use the rockets! I'm sorry, Hild uh, offered that ride on the rockets, and now we have ATD Cam, Beep, and they're trying to fend off Fluorescent, Hild, and Cookies. So Beep backpedaling right now. Watching Beep sp throwing up some combos. He's on the ground. He's He's got Cookies. Moving in on one side of him, I believe he has somebody behind him right now. No, that's that's actually his own teammate, so they're sort of together right there. Beep trying to make that jump and uh, noobing it up, having a little trouble there. And Yeah, he ends up, he has a little help making the jump uh, all the way up to God as uh, he is flack to death as he makes his jump feebly. So now we have fluorescence and cookies chasing around ATD Cam. Cam is right up in the middle of the map darting back and forth nervous like a rabbit who knows there's hawks around and that's clearly what the case is right here you see him just looking back and forth hoping to catch somebody with maybe a lightning shot and, and not get caught with one himself you see him right now he's, he's jumped up on that little ledge there he's, he's chasing after I believe that is fluorescence who he saw from USU and there's cookies is over across the map right there over in in that uh, central area now we have Flack raining in and, and lightning when he turns the corner. Cam in a little bit of trouble here. Somebody's probably going around him. Yeah, he is. And Fluorescence gives him a rocket ride straight into oblivion. The game said it right there. I read it, so you know it's true. 3 to 1, USU. 3 to 1, USU. Uh, looking at his scan, we have cookies. Uh, I just heard a player go invis, so we're going to see probably some goo sneaking up, trying to play sneak again. But no, he's going for some shot combos. Uh, oh, he's actually, it's fluorescence, sneaking up with the flat cannon, gets hit by, from behind himself. Uh, he'll run it into his own rockets, taking him down to 45. We have three ATD versus four USU. Hill USU coming up, uh, looking to throw anything he can towards these uh, ATD guys. Doesn't hit. 
He's gonna drop down low, try to hide, play, play it cool here for a minute. As he runs into uh, probably something he didn't want to, which was a shock beam, and he's taken down. <laughs> we have USU uh, 2. Uh, we have Rusty and Cookie versus Cam and Requiem. Uh, we're going to see both players sticking together on USU's side, looking to pull together with his teamwork. ATD, however, seems to be a lot uh, more spread out, looking to um, zone in on these guys separately. I don't know how well that's going to work as uh, as Cam takes a lot of, I'm sorry, Requiem takes a lot of flag damage. Both players on ATD still spread out, which I don't like seeing because these USU guys are just humbled together here in the back area there. They're not going to move. They're holding this fort down. Assault grenades going all over the place. It looks like we have a standoff here, so... Good game, guys, because USU's not moving. Oh, but uh, USU uh, gets taken down and uh, Rusty taken down. So now we have Rusty versus Cam with full health, basically. Oh, now they're pretty even. Looking at Mini, Cam's backing away. He's down to 41. Rusty throwing any kind of spam, Mini Link, anything just to take him down more. Oh, but I hear a boost as Cam boosts and kind of backs away. He's going to run away, boost up as much as he can, and time's running out here now too, so as the time goes by, so does Rusty's health. He's down to 54, 49, looking to get those last second rockets, doesn't hit, doesn't look too good for Rusty as he... Oh, right in the face! He may have a chance as he's throwing wild flack all over the place. Hitting Cam little by little, but Cam taking him out with the lightning, uh, bringing it up two to three. We have USU still in the lead. Yeah, Rusty firing flack all over the place. Cam had enough of that nonsense and just shot him right in the grill. So now we have uh, three two. It's a, a slim USU lead. Some looking at the scores right here. We got fluorescence with 16 for USU. Cookies 10. Rusty Gun 10. Hill 10. See the pattern? Over on the ATD side, it was already down to two players, four on two. ATD Cam, 17. Spasmodic, 17. Requiem, 8. And then Beep has three. But Beep just joined, so you can't really make fun of him for his score. Hill shredded by ATD Cam's flak cannon. As we're watching Cam with 117 health, he's he's going to have to Rambo here. He's, he's going against three people. He's going to have to be the, uh, the horse of a dark color if he wants to pull this one off and he's against some pretty tight odds right here because he's he's going against USU guys that are fully stacked he still hasn't been hit yet as he backpedals, he's, he's spamming, he's minion, he's linking takes out Rusty Gun for a killing spree and promptly Rusty Gun is avenged and that killing spree was ended by local authorities or aka cookies yeah three verse ones uh, are definitely better for let's say uh certain videos than Unreal Tournament, so as we saw that panned out not too well for ATD bringing up USU another point. We have uh, Cookies looking to hit some lightning and does, followed up by uh, some shot cores in the face of what looks to be, uh, I believe, Requiem, who's down to s around 75 health. He's kind of out in the open. USU still holding that back corner as they nearly avoid some rockets. Rusty getting his hair clipped from those. Throwing some more shot calls, some combos, uh, as we have two USU now. It didn't work out too well for them in that corner as they're looking at four angry ATD players rushing them. Uh, ATD Cam throwing a combo on Rusty, takes him down to 23. Rusty all alone against them, takes down Requiem, but he's still alone. Looking at Lightning, putting up a big heck of a fight, uh, taking out another one as he goes. Wow, I would have liked to have seen Rusty take a four-man dark horse there, but just couldn't fend him off uh, as ATD pulls up four to three in favor of USU. Yeah, for all the talk we were doing, a uh, kind of writing off ATD, they're, they're playing very well on this round. And Beep, who uh, I was uh, talking about his miserable score, is actually 42% right now with the lightning gun. And uh, again, you know, when, when, when you look at it, your ultimate goal, of course, is to, to go and be able to be number one. And when you look at the, the hit scan for USU, yeah, it's still good, but this is not the level that 
you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be at a higher level if you want to take on pure and just not get your face hammered in by shock from across the level. I mean, we're, we have some pretty decent hit scans over here, but we got guys in the 17 percent and and such, and that's just not gonna that's not gonna handle it. Now, I just heard I believe I heard somebody boost. I'm trying to find out who that was. I'm looking for the booster. And I haven't found him yet. Possibly he died immediately. No, it is USU Cookies is the guilty party for the boostage. And I'm I'm following him right now. And he is he is fleeing. He's he's got a, a good a bit of power. So I don't actually think he's fleeing. I think he's trying to circle around behind Requiem. He's he's with his teammates right now. And uh, from looking from Cookies perspective, he's he's now out of the fight. So we're gonna switch to Requiem here in this two on one. Requiem is is point blank here with Hild. Serves him a rocket and promptly USU Cookie swoops in, takes the garbage. He stole the kill with a shock beam there at, with the nearly dead player. So, five three USU. Five three USU. Uh, Cookie's looking looking up top. USU sticking back in that little corner uh, like sardines in a can. I don't know how well that's going to work for him. Uh, actually, they look to be spreading out this round as they feel a little bit more comfortable on this map uh, taking out one of the ATD members. We have a 3 vs 4 here, USU uh, with the advantage, but uh, ATD is still looking strong with all players full health. Uh, so Requiem throwing uh, and hitting in the face uh, some guy on the other side of the map. He gets snuck up from behind him from building space stocks and with the uh, shot combo taking out Hill. Now we have a 3 on 3 even game here. Uh, Cam throwing flack all over the place. Now he's all alone versus three USU members. Uh, down to 61 and taken to the ground uh, by the shock beam of USU. Once again, hit scan, pulling through in this map for USU 6-3. Go ahead, Dad. Yeah, ATD does definitely seem more comfortable with with this map than USU. I guess this is this is the map that they they pit, uh, picked, and uh, I'm I'm certain of that because USU was crying and whining about it. I don't like this map, so uh, clearly this is this is what ATD wanted to pick this map, and they thought this would be an advantage for them. And uh, so far, it, it hasn't really been uh, a, a huge advantage as uh, Requiem takes out Hill with a well placed lightning gun to the ear. And he snuck up behind a couple of the USU players, and oh no, from downtown, he saw the smiley as he peeked up from behind the rock, and there was a smiley flat there that wasn't really friendly, you see, you see the smile, you get excited, and then bam, you're dead. He's not dead yet, but he's seriously injured, and he has fragments of things inside him, so it's hard for him to move. And now he eats some lightning, he's with God now, but he's not suffering, and that's a good thing. So it's three on one, ATD. Well, ATD takes the round just as I said that. So here we go. And 6 4 USU. ATD trying to come back? Trying to, anyways, as Beep uh, immediately goes invisible. I can hear him loading up the goo, trying to be a sneaky man. Going up top, doesn't find anybody. This may go the way. Oh, he knows exactly where USU is, right back in their sardine can in the corner. What are these guys doing, bunching themselves up here as. All sides, ATD's throwing combos, just throwing it in there, hitting them as one's taken out. We have three versus four, another combo. Cam is all over the place, on top of rocks, dropping back down, shooting combos. This guy is a madman. He's rushing. He's doing everything to get these guys out of this corner and holding it down pretty well as he's getting combos, flex, rockets. He's not even taking down any health at all from himself. We have two USU as one gets taken out with the lightning. Uh, they're still in that corner, I believe. Uh, oh, now we have fluorescence all by himself in the corner, taken out uh, with a rocket. We have six five ATD still holding strong in this in this map here. Cam really starting to distance himself from the pack with 38 points, leading uh, both teams. Also has 14 kills leading both teams, so he's having one hell of a game. We got 35% uh, for beep on the uh, on the lightning gun right there. So you're, you're seeing a lot of good lightning gun play here from ATD. So it's kind of a reversal. Nobody over 20% on on the uh, USU side. Requiem at 18%. I'm trying to see our leader here, Dcam. Oh, excuse me, Cam. ATD Cam. Only 18% lightning. So he's leading the the server in score. Shows how important light, lightning is, I guess. All the rambling on we do about it. 
So there's two ATD right now. I heard uh, the boosting sound, and that is an ATD member. That's Requiem, who is backpedaling, and he is he is all alone now. He is he's boosting, and uh, well, he's not boosting anymore due to the unfortunate event of his death. Seven to five, USU. Yeah, and another round for USU there. Uh, like you said, they're gonna look a lot. Lightning doesn't have to do with everything here. Uh, if, if you shoot enough of it, you're going to miss bringing down your hit scan uh, percentage there. So Cam, like I said, just throwing anything he can. He's throwing combos. He's throwing flag balls. Flag after he gets out of a room, covering his tracks as he hits Rusty, who was invisible. Uh, he must have had those x-ray glasses on as he picks up that invisible guy like it was nothing. Uh, Cam going back up top. Let's keep an eye on this guy because he is hot tonight. Uh, bringing down USU to two members. We have three versus two. ATD Cam not finding anything, but Requiem has plenty of action as he kills Hill with his lightning. Requiem going up top, not finding anything. Spastic not anything. This guy is hiding. Fluorescence back in the corner. Where else would he be? These guys must, uh, must have, uh, a lot of comfortable situations in, in this uh, in this little corner here because they keep falling back so well as he takes out cam so this may actually be good for him if they're comfortable I don't see why not uh, it's a good strategy but doesn't pan out too well as he's taking out with the lightning ATD taking another round stand one step behind but still in the game yeah ATD uh, forces uh, USU to take a TO baby not sure if that was by mistake or they're just reeling from this ATD onslaught, but yeah, he cornered himself. It, it does seem like uh, USU is struggling on this map, and you know it, it's probably because they're not. They don't. I mean, everybody's familiar with this map, quote unquote. I mean, you know it, you've played it, whether you want to or not. But if they're not uh, utterly comfortable with the map and moving around in it, you you pick a spot that you know and you think you can defend two corners and then just wait for them to come to you. Didn't work out for him there, but you know it was uh, a for effort for whatever that's worth. So now we have it seven six here USU this round. Now this is uh, we are live and underway. USU with the lead of just one. We're coming fresh off of USU timeout. Spasmodic is eliminated very quickly, followed up by Hill. And beep, shock beaming everybody he can see, and even people he probably can't. Now he's switching over to his his flak, as it's down to two USU. He's shooting some mini. There goes Cookie. So now we have a three on two. We have uh, Fluorescence, who uh, who hey, I don't know what, what what is he doing? Is he hiding in the beginning of his maps? Because it seems like he's always the last one there. And uh, yeah, again, same same deal. He was there. It was a three on one, and then he was dead. Yeah, now it's a tied score. ATD looking mean as they're going uh, advancing towards this uh, USU team pretty comfortably here. You can definitely tell these guys picked this map for a reason. And like you said, you pick a map that nobody knows, get good at it, and hopefully win. <laughs> so that's what ATD is doing here. And it may actually work out for him. Cam not running into anyone, uh, but Fluorescence on USU is right back in that corner there. Uh, Beep has a lot of action as he runs into two, now three! Flag falls all over the place, getting hit, down to 72 health. He's down in a little cubby hole, coming out the, the butt end of it, going up top to where USU should be, and if I'm correct, someone's right here in front of him. Uh, I guess not. Oh, here we go, there's a USU member, as he takes him with the flag, throwing it like it's his job, now some mini. Nosey's low, taking him down. Uh, we have two on two as Cookie doesn't look good. Oh, but uh, both taken out. Now we have uh, ATD actually taking the lead here, seven to eight. Oh, Doctor! ATD with the comeback. Yeah, this is a uh, quite an interesting turn of events. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I really am surprised because of the the hit scan advantage that USU had. I, I really hadn't thought about you know picking the picking of the map uh, and and that you know this was something that ATD had picked. I mean sometimes when you you pick a map you and that's a, that's a killing spree right there for Beep and that's probably ended by Cookies. Cookies the local authority. Every time there's a killing spree, he needs to just end it quickly. He's Sid Justice, I guess. So we have a two on one fluorescence with a combo requiem. Served the combo platter and it didn't sit well with him. So he's going to sit the rest of this round out while he recovers. 
And so now we have Cam with only 14 points and Fluorescence with uh, 164, or health that is. And uh, now uh, Cam has none. So uh, with, uh, with that, they tie it up and we're back to 8-8 eight to eight now. Yeah, we have a tied score here, 4-on-4 four four action, Fluorescence goes invisible, actually has out his lightning, so no goo here as he tries to connect, but his hit scans off. As good as we've been talking here, he's not hitting worth anything. Oh, he gets two in as the uh, ATD member wisely falls back. Now uh, he's getting more lightning in, just kind of holding back, throwing hit scan, hitting a couple people actually, not taking them down too much. Uh, it, two members of ATD now down, looking up against four. Uh, deep in a bad situation, but takes out fluorescence immediately. Boost, he's got to get his ass out of there like he stole something. Runs right back in the hill, falling back, right back down. Oh, and is shot in the eyeball with Hill's lightning gun. Now we have ATD uh, Requiem versus all all three of USU members. Not looking good as they're in USU's home base, which seems to be that little corner. USU up nine to eight here. Game point, USU. Yeah, USU could could take this right here. I, I ATD on oh, now we have I heard somebody do something here. I believe somebody went invisible. Yes, it's Hild. Following USU Hild right now because he went invisible. He's he's gonna try to sneak up and pop some combos on some unsuspecting innocent ATDs that are just minding their own business, looking for visible people, and then he's gonna run up and try to serve them and he can help them adapt. Watching him right now, he's he's in the middle of uh, two ATD members right there. He's got spasmodic right in front of him. Spasmodic taking down his rusty gun brings a shot combo in from behind, so distracted by the invisible guy, uh, invisible guy and uh, and that, that's uh, good enough for him to take him out. So but when, now we're down to two ATD and three USU. Hild, only the, he's down to 62 total, but he takes out Cam. And he's very low, but it's it's B. With, okay, well, we had people boost in, and it was against all odds right there. ATD take, loses this one. Uh, the score is real quick before everybody logs out. ATD Cam with 50, Spasmodic 42, beat 36, Requiem 26. Over on the USU side, Fluorescence 50, Rusty Gun 45, Cookies 37, and Hill with 36. So it was a pretty good match, uh, Captain. I, I, I think that uh, I... Everybody would have been happy with that that comeback that USU, uh, or excuse me, that ATD mounted, tied it up. It looked like they were going to take uh, this this map for a while, and I was I was pretty happy about that. Um, so I don't I don't really think there was any disappointment here. It was a pretty good match. What do you what do you say, Kevin? Yeah, no disappointment. Uh, ATD definitely put up a good fight there, uh, but USU came together, held it together as a team on that last map there, uh, came out with the victory. What are you going to do there? Uh, they pulled together, took them out, and ended up with a V. So we're going to look at, uh, I believe, USU holding down the number spot on TWL ladder. So good game to USU and to ADD, ATD, excuse me, putting up a heck of a fight. Uh, and I hope you guys at home enjoyed it. Remember to check out forums, IRC, all that good stuff on EGLN.net. Catch our future casts. They'll all be listed on there. Uh, good night and good game. Yeah, that's uh, going to wrap it up for us. So uh, thanks to Captain Hattie for doing video. Thanks to Chachi for manning the station in our New York studios doing all those shout-outs. Uh, for Captain Crunch, this is Dead Slice saying check out EGLM.net. Put in your requests and your, your grudge match requests, your shout-outs, and uh, we'll get you on the air. I'll make you famous. It's my promise to you. Have a good night.